I'll sit on the ground because I'm like three feet taller than you. <laughs> we'll see if this contraption works. Oh yeah, look at the lens, not the thingy up top. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't do this very often, guys. I'm looking up at the sky. I did too. The friends, I left my sassaroni. Yeah. Wee I'm still looking at the monitor. <laughs> It's don't mind us, we don't do this to friends too often, okay? <laughs> so, the friends. Sassaruni, my husband Kyle, and I have lost 130 pounds each and kept it off for six years. And we want to do a special video today. I want to dedicate this, we want to dedicate this to anybody out there that is struggling with weight loss. I think a lot of people look at Nicole and us or anyone online that they follow and think they're like, they've had a perfect smooth journey because they've lost the weight. They've shown like, oh, I've kept off 100 pounds or I've lost a tremendous amount of weight. And for me and Nicole, it was not always like that. We, we figured some things out now, we're still not experts. And we definitely had a bumpy road along the way. We, we did. We both struggled with weight our entire lives. We had emotional eating, which eventually led to us getting to our heaviest weights. Kyle was 375 pounds, I was 275 pounds, and we were struggling with massive health problems, and we knew we needed to lose the weight or it was gonna get worse. So we were so overwhelmed, we tried for so many years to try to lose weight, and we did all these fad diets, things that weren't sustainable, tried taking away food groups, and nothing worked. So I'll interject here. Um, we are also stubborn just like everybody else. <laughs> and we didn't, we were kind of forced into losing weight. I ha was diagnosed with type two diabetes. Um, Nicole had sleep apnea, needed a CPAP machine to sleep at night. Yeah. Um, we were, the health problems kept mounting and mounting, getting worse and worse and worse. So yeah. We didn't just wake up one day and go, hey, we're ready to do it now. No, and I had plantar fasciitis so bad I could barely walk. But Kyle's type 2 diabetes diagnosis really scared us into saying, okay, we're going to have to change or this is going to get worse. And maybe I won't wake up one day or Kyle won't wake up. So we basically needed to save our lives. And we knew, we felt so overwhelmed, so we thought, okay, what if we try making small changes? Because we had never done that before. And the small changes worked. We started eating what we liked, but less of it. But we made a ton of mistakes along the way. You are not alone if you're struggling. Okay. We made a ton of mistakes along the way. We lost 50 pounds in three months because we had so much weight to lose and we were loving what we were eating and portion control. Then we lost um, 100 pounds and we were about to get married and we thought we could speed up the process by taking away treats and food groups. It backfired. We ended up going back to emotional eating, gaining weight. We gained 10 pounds each back of what we lost. We ended up having to recalibrate and go back put the treats back in, get back on track, we lost the weight, and then through trial and error, we kept finding what worked. So mistakes along your journey are normal. What we did though was we learned from our mistakes and we kept pushing through. The biggest thing we did was we never gave up. Yeah. There, when you like, even before we lost the weight, when we would see somebody on social media in really good shape or someone that lost the weight, even us, we would think, oh, they woke up like that or they just figured it out. It was just easy or whatever. And when you're watching people like us, like sometimes we'll get new subscribers and they'll say like, oh, you guys have it easy. You figured it out. You had each other. Um, you don't really know their full story. Um, this is like been a lifelong struggle with emotional eating, being Wait. overweight, um, low self-esteem issues for the both of us anxiety anxiety depression there's been a long road to get off these 130 pounds each and we just kind of wanted to make this video today to let you guys know it is 
not a linear process. It's not generally a quick process. No. There's a, a lot of bumps and a lot of turns and a lot of, we don't refer to them as mistakes anymore because we learn from each and every one of the mistakes. When we took away carbs, we learned. We took away salt, we learned, don't do that. Oh, yeah, uh, don't do that. <laughs> we took away other you know, food groups and uh, went way too low on our calories. And then we were like, well, if I eat, you know, 1500 calories a day, I'll be able to lose weight a lot faster. And then we realized, oh wait, I can't work out because I'm so hungry. Or, so it's like counterproductive. So just know that like, you're not alone and we're still kind of figuring things out and rolling with the punches and, and learning as we go too. So yeah. um, the journey's gonna be like that. Probably for most of you out there are not just gonna magically figure it out in one moment. You might decide in one moment to change your life and start taking steps, but those steps are, for us, have been slow, small, and steady. And that, the tortoise and the hare story really applies here. The- Which one am I? <laughs> <laughs> Youthful porpoise. <laughs> um, I'll be the turtle, it's okay. <laughs> You're more like a, a bunny when you dance around. Deek, deek. So. But slow and steady wins the race. It's, you're gonna get overwhelmed, you're gonna have tough days, you're gonna feel like it's impossible, but know that it's normal. We felt like that too. And you know, you may lose the weight like we did and, and keep it off and just know we are still learning, like Kyle said. We learn every day what works to keep the weight off, to get in better shape. It just keeps becoming a new journey and know that you're not alone. We are here for you and we learn from the mistakes. Mistakes are normal. You're gonna fall off track. It's not gonna be a beautiful straight path and that's okay. Um, it's very normal and whatever you do, know that you're worth it to keep pushing through. Even if you're scared, push through, do not give up. That's one thing that we didn't do. We learned and kept going. You are worth it to be healthy if your health is at risk right now. You are worth it to feel good in your body and to love what you're eating and to make your journey as fun as possible. Know if it's feeling hard that you can keep trying things until it feels fun. It should feel fun. You should like your food. It's not gonna be easy, but it should be fun. Find an you exercise know? that you like to do. Cardio yes. doesn't have to be on a treadmill staring at a, a brick wall. You can dance, you can take your dog for a walk, you can play with your kids, take your kids for a walk or to a park. It, it should be fun, you should like it, and you should love your food, and you don't have to take away food groups. The rule is you have to be in a calorie deficit to lose weight. So eat what you like in a calorie deficit, do cardio that you love, and push through even on the days when it might seem tough. Think of Kyle and I, Know that we struggled, know that we're with you, and that we push through, and you can too. And we love you guys, and we're rooting for you. We believe in you. One, one last piece of advice that I would throw out there to anyone starting or been struggling for years to lose weight, um, and this is like one of the main reasons Nicole and I have this channel, what we wanna put out there. Um, don't try to rush things like we did. Um, it only set us back, like Nicole's been saying. Um, don't try to fast forward your progress, your results, um, the way that you eat now. Don't try to drastically change that overnight. It generally backfires. And we've been on every fad diet known to mankind for decades. I'm 40, Nicole's 38, and we've I've been dieting and put been put on restrictive diets since I was nine years old. So that's it's a long time of trial and error and mostly error so that we could come to you and bring a message that is you know slow and steady wins the race like nicole was saying yeah one small change at a time pick something you can do drink more water switch out your regular pop for diet pop or put sweetener in your coffee instead of sugar one small change until you feel comfortable with it and that and then add another one one small change at a time small changes will get you the big results and slow and steady wins the race we love you guys we're here, we believe in you, do not give up.
If you want, uh, we have two weight loss guides with exactly what we ate, portions, meal plans, family friendly recipes. Um, the links are down below. We also have a new guilt free cookbook. The link is down below. It's all low calorie versions of your favorite foods. So if you want to eat your favorite things without the guilt and extra calories, that's down there too. Or you can watch Bink, Bink, one, two videos. It's for weird, me. weird being on this side of the camera and my neck hurts. This is what people are <laughs> like, why don't you guys get a tripod and go on camera both together at the same time? I'm, I'm like four feet taller than Nicole, so this is how we'd have to shoot everything. Hi. It would be, yeah. We need like a wide angle lens, like this way and a, a high angle lens. Yeah, because I'm 5'4 and he's six feet. So like we have to Here's spend me. hours setting up. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? But since he since you're on this side of the camera, let's lawnmower sitting down. You finally get to do the lawnmower. How do you do it? Um, well, we have to show the friends, so we'll lawnmower like this. All right. 3D action. We're gonna Ready? do some lawnmower at one, two, three, go. <laughs> <laughs> Cut the lawn in three mows. <laughs> we love you guys. You can do it, guys. That's from us. Peace. We love you. We're here. Pew. That was the fist bumps. To you too, Seth. We out. <laughs> Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.